Yo, welcome to Pancho's Palace and appreciate y'all for clicking on this review where we're going to be taking a look at Jada Toys' new Street Fighter 2 Ultra, the final challengers Ryu and Fei Long. And let me tell y'all, I've been so dang stoked for this line since Jada Toys announced it and teased it back in 2022 San Diego's Comic Con. Man, I think I'm more excited about the possibilities of what this line can bring us. Because if you ask me, I'm a big Street Fighter fan. I've been I've been playing Street Fighter since since a youngin. Dynamite! <laughs> uh, but when you when you're looking for good quality figs, you either see cheap and inexpensive and and, and cheap in quality, or expensive and hard to find figures so there's not one in between and i think this is going to give it to us we're going to get great looking figures at an affordable cost so taking a look at the box itself so this is ryu here now as you can see we got an arcade style looking box which is pretty damn dope of course giving you the elements and nostalgic feeling of a classic arcade game uh, a fighter game in this in this case you got the arcade sticks drawn here the decals you got promotional art of the select screen of ryu promotional art of fei long here on the other side the life bars at the top certain elements of the game as you can see inside the actual box you got the background of their levels which is dope if you turn it off to the side you got some promotional art of certain characters from the game with the logo here at the top uh on the back of the box you got the full wave now of course this is two of three figures from this wave we're just missing chun li this is wave one wave two is already announced now this is what i'm hoping for that this line remains successful enough to make the whole entire cast of street fighter 2 characters because that would be amazing i understand we got some from sh fig arts in this in similar scale but man i want i don't i don't care i want them all i want them all so i'm really hoping that this line remains successful jada toys so far you're doing you're doing good in my in my book because this box looks amazing and if we turn it to the last side of the box you got country of origin hong kong country of origin ryu for for uh for ryu and Beilong, uh which is right here so for those inbox collectors you could probably pose it this way or i mean uh, not necessarily pose but you know stack them this way so that way you can see the characters themselves if this way takes too much space which is dope and at the bottom not much aside from legal leads and barcodes but anyways 25 bucks gives us this nice packaging let's see what it gives us in regards to the actual figures themselves all righty so let's take a look at the main man himself first ryu and this is what you get for 25 bucks but if you ask me i think this is the right amount of accessories especially considering that they hit effects secondary head sculpt and second pair of hands when there's quality written all over this figure and packaging so taking a closer look he does come with a pair of hadouken hands so pretty neat i mean hadouken style post hands they went with the red gloves so he's sporting the red gloves here you can see some texture on the actual back of the gloves themselves um he does have his hadouken effect which i'm excited that they added and it's pretty dope you can see right inside just like in the video game you do see his the silhouette of his hands throwing out the hadouken unfortunately you don't see him on the side here all you see is his nasty glue nasty glue nasty um it is made of this soft translucent blue plastic i don't believe it's see it painted the darker tones are, are it comes derives from the the layers of extra plastic that overlap each other um it is on this peg it does come with a peg so that way you can prop it up with two joints so as you can see and it does prop into this peg stand now he does come with two heads so aside from the one that he comes with right out the box this is a secondary head and i love it I mean, I love this art style of Ryu. To me, he, this replicates more of a Street Fighter 2 classic art style. And I'm talking about like from the game and combination of, you know, arts that are out there from like art books that, that Capcom used to throw out, like the OG 90s. I think this replicates perfect in my in my opinion. I look because of the bushy eyebrows, that grin and that poofy hair. Uh, but yeah, pretty dope. This is made of uh, soft plastic. So, I mean, rubberish plastic, so you want to be careful. I feel like uh, one bad yank, that's what she said, will tear that thing off. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, you can see they uh, they painted the pupils on. You can see they painted the gums or the lips and then the white teeth. So, pretty dope. Everything is sculpted. I love it. Uh, so, now, taking a closer look at the main man. Let's adjust this real quick. Apologies. So, ah, voila. All righty. And there he is ryu in all his glory so of course i had him posed up but here's this 
first head sculpt so this is this head sculpt that he comes with right out the box so more of a serious stern look um i don't know if it's just mine but aside from that blemish there there is like white at the top eyelid so i, I don't know if that was meant to to be or mine just came this way but i'm assuming that's the paint from the the, the white area of his uh of his eyeball that went across the eye the, the top eyelid uh, right below the uh the bushy eyebrows so um let me know in the comment section below if yours came that way but mine definitely does look like there he has like eyeshadow some white eyeshadow uh but aside from that the scoped man i love it again this to me re reminds me of the og 90 street fighter 2 style ryu um, he does have the reds i believe he used to have the browns but it doesn't matter they went their own direction i believe he looks better with the reds because they pop they're more saturated maybe that's just the direction jada decided to go for um but if you look at uh, at, at the figure himself man check that out one thing i do love is that they went ahead and threw shading all across the fig itself and you can see just like the the gloves there is texture all across the gi itself the white gi and the gi is also removable um i'll remove it in a sec uh they also did the kanji on the actual black belt strap here yeah pretty dang dope you can still see the texture and you can definitely tell the shading right here especially on the ankle toes are sculpted little toe nails and the bottom some legalese peg holes yeah they they really outdid themselves and remember i'm keeping the price point in mind 25 bucks so i'm excited to see how fei long show you guys how fei long looks but overall decal paint apps scope to me it's grade a it feels um in terms of the material that they use with the type of plastic this the the, the top gi is made of this soft uh soft rubbery plastic similar to some of the other rubbery plastics that that ryu tends to have that i just came across blah, 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 blah. um but it th there's there's portions of it that do feel plasticky uh and i don't want to say cheap plastic but you can definitely tell like like when you're posing it like it's there's definitely like a ratchet plastic kind of like it reminds me somewhat of mcfarlane i may hopefully i can get you guys to get an idea but it reminds me of somewhat of mcfarlane's plastic joints but it's not a bad thing i mean especially considering the price point right so in terms of his articulation he's able to look up oh be careful of course he does swap out his head so let's actually might as well put on his second head so yeah there you go it's it, it props in easily so he does look up that way just be careful because then he'll it'll put it'll potentially come off it goes down that amount which is pretty damn good uh he can strike a T pose. Can he go farther than that? Nope. I don't want to push it too far because I don't want to break it in live or on this recorded stream. Alrighty, or video. Um, upper arm cut, double jointed elbows, um, and there is like a slight ratchety effect when you're when you're posing up the the joints themselves. Um, and then of course the hinge and rotator for the wrists themselves. Now, in terms of his ab articulation. So he's able to go and look forward with the combination of his crunch and his waist that much, which is pretty good if you ask me. And that's with his gi on and then that far back. So let me, so that far back, that far forward. And if we take off his gi, so you just pretty much take uh, the, the belt off that's propped into this little flesh tone plastic piece. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it prop that off like that the belt comes loose and then now the gi comes off sexy man sexy man it's like sexy ryu you guys know sexy ryu from street fighter 4 and then you can you can better see his articulation and i personally think it looks better with the gi on but it doesn't look too bad uh you can see the sculpt of the muscles of the ab they did they did definitely didn't sell these guys short and there is still shading across the body itself so kudos kudos and in terms of his ab crunch now he's able to bend forward a little more a little bit more visible and bend backwards that amount um his legs go up to do the splits about that that's pretty damn good he does have the upper thigh cut so of course it rotates from here double jointed knees and then the hinge for the ankle and swivel super swivel all righty so yeah ryu 
for a Ryu fig at 25 bucks, uh, they didn't, it, it, it's a home run. All right, now let's take a look at Fei Long. All right, next, let's take a look at Fei Long. And this is the one that I'm low-key more excited for, only because we've gotten multiple figures of Ryu from different companies. However, we've only gotten one articulated Fei Long. And that was from Soda Toys early in the early 2000s. So, super excited about this one. Similar to Ryu, he comes with uh, three different departments and accessories. So, he does have his effect, secondary head sculpt, secondary hands. So, taking a look at his secondary hands, they're more of the Kung Fu forward slash martial arts relaxed style posing hands, which I love because it definitely suits Fei Long. These give you a Bruce Lee, the legendary Bruce Lee feel to him as y'all already know he's a direct influence from bruce lee of course um his shinkyaku i believe i pronounced that right hopefully i did uh this is his fire kick effect so it's just pretty much an interesting shape a long tube his leg one of his legs can go right all up inside there That's what she said. Uh, and pretty much uh pose him up now the only unfortunate thing is unlike ryu he doesn't this, this doesn't have any form of peg stand so it'd be nice maybe if we got a peg stand but for the 25 dollars and i'm gonna keep saying that i suppose it's not too bad so if you have one you can definitely have a better better time posing him up i believe you could without it but still better time posing him up with a with like a figure stand um and his secondary head scope so aside from the one that he comes with inside the box this is his secondary one uh which is a more of like cons not a concern just like a surprise look i, I kind of wish they would done the same thing as they did with ryu which give which would be giving him a more of an, an angrier stern look uh but i'll take it i mean it's done it's done great the sculpting the painting you can definitely see the pupils you can make out the pupils there you can make out the uh the the, the sculpt of the hair yeah i mean they didn't do a bad job the paint of the lips jeez come on the paint of the lips and the and the and the uh the teeth so i mean you can definitely make use of this this head sculpt but kind of wish they would have given us a more more angrier grinning head sculpt all righty so that's the extra accessories now taking a closer look at Fei Long himself look at him does he need to just look dope just standing there jeez so they i love it I, I mean i think they did a really great job to me this definitely looks like either Fei Long or an animated bruce lee you can take it how you like it so for those that don't do big or don't have a uh, a, a keen liking to street fighter you can buy this as a bruce lee figure technically uh so now taking a closer look at this first head sculpts let's check, check that out look at that look at that profile doesn't it look dope so i love this head scope definitely love this head scope unfortunately if i was gonna pose them up with this i would love more of like a stern looking head uh face but this one it is what it is uh but same thing sculpting department's nice you can definitely make out the pupils of the of the eyes uh the paint of the lips yeah they did a good job there's definitely um some detail going on the ears and whatnot uh and then all across same thing goes for the rest of him so it's very similar to ryu there's shading across the crevices of his muscles which is dope there is definitely texture on his kung fu pants and you can tell you can make out the articulation there very similar to ryu and then here goes his kung fu shoes and they went with the off-white versus the standard traditional white white like bright white and i'm glad they went this route because it definitely gives them a little bit more character i feel like it gives them more character um show some aging some 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 wear across the shoes themselves so yeah look at the, the the muscles themselves his abs there's definitely some different shading in between the crevices you can make out the nipples the nip nips and the crevices the the shading yeah pretty damn good so articulation is very similar to ryu when it comes down to the points so his head is able to look up that far which is pretty good look down that much and i love it because they put the double uh, the double ball joint up here and the single right there down below so you got two points of articulation that can potentially give him like a natural flow um he is able to strike let me fix this he's able to strike a t-pose so his arms go up that far now his butterfly joints so you can definitely make them out especially in the back so he's able to go back pretty far so i love the way he goes back which is cool because you can give him that like what that kind of you know that kind of 
Hunt style pose, but unfortunately they don't go forward too far. Now you can't strike that X pose from the front. And I failed to show Ryu's on Ryu segment, but Ryu goes a little bit closer, which I would expect because you can strike a Hadouken, but I wish he would go a little bit farther than that. But Fei Long doesn't move as much forward as he does back. Um, the upper arm cut, of course, the swivel there, double jointed elbow. You got the uh, the hinge and swivel for the wrist. He, with the combination of his ab crunch and his waist, he's able to move forward pretty far, which he should, because he does his fire kick. So pretty far, and he's able to move backwards pretty far as well. Check that out. Can he do the splits? He should better be able to do the splits. Mm, I feel like Ryu does a little bit more of the splits. Actually, no, that's not too bad. You just gotta, you know, kind of scary, but you just gotta force it just a tad bit, but it does go, it does go that far. Uh, has the upper thigh cut that allows you to swivel, double jointed knees, and very similar hinge and swivel for the ankles. So, yes, dope, dope, dope when it comes down to the the overall scope, paint, and articulation for Fei Long and Ryu. So, next, let's move into some size comparisons with some other lines to see how they fit. So, here they are standing next to each other, and they're actually about the same exact size. So, sizing them up, looking at Fei Long, he looks to be six inches, a little bit above six inches to the top of his hair. And then for Ryu, yep, pretty much the same thing. So, they're both six inches, maybe a little bit, a little bit plus, but six inches. So they're both about the same height. Sticking with the Street Fighter theme, here we have some SH Fig Arts, which is the lines I was most excited to compare against. So to the far left, we have the SH Fig Arts Chun-Li, then Sakura. To the right of Ryu, we have Akuma and Ken. And if you ask me, they scale phenomenal. However, the animated style of Chun-Li, Sakura, and Ken fit a little bit more with that Fei Long than they do with Ryu. But that Ryu and Akuma next to each other, sheesh, that thing looks amazing. Unfortunately, I don't have these outside the box, but this will give you an idea on how these two look like next to a Soda Toys Fei Long and a Ryu. Where are my Marvel vs. Capcom fans? Here we have to the far left, Mafex's classic suit Spider-Man, Gambit, and to the right we have Marvel Legends retro card Rogue and the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Iron Man. Here they are next to some other Ryu figures that were made. So to the left, we have the gigantic Storm Collectibles Street Fighter 2 Ultra Ryu. And to the right, we have SH Big Arts Ryu. Alrighty, and for some other comparisons here, we have NECA's Unarmored Last Ronin to the left, and SH Fig Arts, a Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku to the right. And they are making comic books with Street Fighter and TMNT crossing paths with one another, so I thought this would be a good comparison. All right, so to wrap this review up, Jada Toys, needless to say, knocked it out the park with this line. They gave us more than what I anticipated a $25 figure nowadays to, 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 to provide. You know, the contents, uh, overall, the quality of the figures, the, the, the packaging, the amount of accessories, which is minimal but sufficient it was just it was just all perfect in my opinion now <laughs> i may be biased because i'm a big street fighter fanatic but let's not deny the facts that these figures overall hit almost every single uh requirement that figures should hit at the 25 dollar price range and if you ask me jada toys definitely surpassed the bar in comparison to other figure lines out there so i'm really hoping that this line stays successful these figures have been selling out on Amazon. They're still available for pre-order, I believe, on Entertainment Earth and Big Bad. I'll put some links on the on the comment on the description section below. Um, but yes, I'm really hoping that this line remains successful. Um, I already pre-ordered the Chun Li. Um, I'm excited for Wave Two. The images are already out there, and I'm really hoping that that they continue to make multiple waves to at least finish the characters from Street Fighter Two ultra well that's it for me i'm hoping that you guys love this review um if you did give me a thumbs up uh let me know 
what, 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 if you're excited for this line or if you're not, if you're going to pick it up, throw it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I also have an account over on Instagram if you guys want to find out updates on when these reviews drop. So shoot a follow over there. Other than that, this is Pancho from Pancho's Palace signing out. <laughs>